Her story is a story about, well, her. And who's her, I hear you ask? And in the words of Star Wars' Maz Kanada, that's a good question for another time. For you see, the very premise of this game is to discover who this woman is and why she's been interviewed by the police. We start off the game given access to the police database and a few short clips, and from that moment onwards, it's up to us to discover the rest of the story. It's up to us as the player to search the database, find more clips, and piece the story together. Searching the database is as simple as searching for keywords that you might be interested in, and the database will pop up with any video that contains those words that you've searched for. With these new clips and information, you'll discover new avenues of interest and you will then naturally go and explore those. Now, naturally, this means that the story doesn't flow in a linear fashion. The videos that you watch and the chapters of the story that you then watch are dependent upon the words that you yourself search for. This will more than likely mean that everybody's experience of the story will be somewhat personalised. For example, I might have uncovered a piece of information that you might not have discovered until several hours later, or you yourself might have discovered pieces of information that I myself didn't even discover. This makes for a brilliantly unique way of telling a story, but one which is inherently somewhat dangerous. As another example, if I was to discover all of the mundane details, whereas you were discovering all of the juicy gossip, then your experience could be somewhat more exciting than mine. Where still, if the story elements that I discovered just weren't interesting to me, it could mean that I would actually stop playing the game. All that being said, that didn't actually personally happen to me, and my journey of discovery was interesting until the end. Now when I say end, I don't mean that in the traditional sense, rather the game gives you the option of ending your experience once you've discovered a certain amount of the story, or allows you to continue on in order to discover more. It's a very interesting and unique concept, and I would suggest that it's more of an interactive story than it is a game. I say that as the gameplay itself is just basically searching on a database, then watching a video clip, then searching more on the database, and watching another video clip. It's very much akin to falling down the rabbit hole when it comes to YouTube searches. However, this is obviously just a self-contained database and doesn't include random videos of, say, flat earth speedruns and those brilliant little videos where they make like tiny little food out of these little tiny utensils and they use a little candle to cook all its mint. Anyways, back on point, um, her story is only a couple of hours long anyway, and that's probably about how long you'd spend watching a film. I did really quite like her story, um, the story itself is quite good, um, but what is more interesting is the way that you discover it for yourself. It's certainly a very niche piece of media and probably not a game for everybody, however if you do like a little bit of a mystery and piecing together stories, then yeah, this is a game I would recommend. She was a widow from her twenties. But, I mean, I guess it was different then. And you married for life, and she felt she could never marry again. I guess it was harder, a war widow. One of the dead. I don't know, maybe there was more to it than that. I don't really know. 